A piece of history has come tumbling down in Fall River. And for many, including the man who took care of the old Immaculate Conception Church, it meant more than just losing a building. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau with more on this week's Street Story. When the pews were not nearly full enough, parishioners knew this day would come. But that didn't make watching this any easier. The 100-foot bell tower that for nearly a century cast a shadow over this corner of the Flint neighborhood would not crumble easily. Multiple blows didn't even chip a brick. But it was only a matter of minutes. Built in 1927 for a growing parish in a mostly French neighborhood, the final mass here was nearly seven years ago. And as the cross came down, you got into it. Albert Jalbert was among the parishioners who did not want to see it. It's too hard to see it go down. He was married here. His wife, children, and grandchildren were baptized here. Looking, we redid the walls. And about 40 years ago, he was one of the volunteers who repainted the heart of the building, just in time for the congregation's centennial celebration back in 1982. A short time after that project, Jalbert took over as the parish sexton, the handyman who helped keep the church in shape. When you've fixed just about everything that's in there, from painting to electric, uh, whatever uh, that needed doing, it hurts. Uh, again, you can say it's a building, but it's like your home. It's your second home. And filled with members of a second family who are now part of other parishes. There's feelings in there. You've met people that you never would have met before and you become friendly with them and you know everybody's aches and pains so to speak. Immaculate was consolidated with another parish to form St. Bernadette Parish but that also was closed last summer. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.